How's it going guys? Koki here to bring you episode 2 of the series The Whitetail Hunt. In this series we will be focused on looking for potential diamond whitetail bucks. We will be traveling the map looking for different spots where whitetail can be drinking, eating, or sleeping. I just want to let y'all know there was technical difficulties on the last record. The game sound was off. I will be posting that at the end of the video. So stay tuned. Remember to like and subscribe and click that post notification button down below to see episode 3 coming soon. Let's start the hunt. There's our first white toe. little buck in the back. Got some nice deer coming in. So we're gonna take our biggest one. It look like they're coming this way. It should pass in through this area over here. And the feeding grounds around here. So they'll eat anywhere around here. He's nice in the back. It's definitely a gold potential. This one on the front is also a gold potential. Not the biggest bucks around here. Just all together, which is the problem. They're not spread out, they're all sitting together. I don't know if a call is gonna work. They're coming. Okay. We're gonna try to get a bow shot on one of the biggest ones. Dropped. Absolute dropped them with the bow. Okay. So we got our first deer. Most likely a gold. We're going to wait it out and see if we can call in that other gold potential. White toe. They're making their way back. And we'll wait for the the other gold potential um white tail we'll take him on try to get him with a bow also that would be nice to get both of them with a bow and not make too much more noise so we got we got a lot of noise around here so let's not let's try not to get this this hunter pressure too uh, too pink the only thing I can do is get down and try to sneak around. Well, let's let's try. So we're gonna get right behind him, and we'll hopefully get a shot on him. I think this is a good spot. See what we can do here. Anything? Here he is. There he is. Beautiful, clear shot right towards him. Absolute beast. Okay, let's do it. He's hit. Hit him low. Oh, not looking good. 
go check that blood. Ooh, not good. And we'll see where we hit him. Did not hit him. It hit his stomach. A little bit behind. A little bit. A little bit too much. On a slant. If I would have shot a little bit higher, I definitely would have had a long shot. It's my fault. He would have been... He would have he would have been a silver, so I'm not too disappointed on him. Either way, a nice nice buck. For people who want to know where I hunted, it's over here on top of Lake District. There's gonna be a little curve over here, and they have a feeding spot. Most of the time, at fifteen fifteen thirty to twenty one hundred. So, um, anyone who wants to try to spot, it's, a, it's one of my favorite spots to hunt on this map. Right, uh, right now we're going to go, and we're going to travel, we're going to travel home. We're going to travel over here. To these highs over here, there's a nice little feeding spot. We're going to try it out, see if we can see any type of white-tailed deer around this area we can also try one of these so I, th I think we're gonna go with this one just because there's a house near it and we'll claim that house while we're at it and we'll make that video or episode two of the series So we got a nice, we found some trails, and it's looking like there's white-tailed deer around this area, so we're gonna, we're gonna look around a little bit, we're gonna go, we're gonna go to the other spot, and we'll come back to this spot, hopefully, and try this out, we're, we're on the quad, we're on the quad, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be a lot of noise, 300 yards, I believe. Or 300 meters, I'm not exactly sure, but anything in 300 meters, they'll they'll spook. So we're gonna go to the other spot. We're gonna try to keep it quiet, keep it simple, and then we will maybe we'll do this episode three. Come back to this spot. So we'll claim the we'll claim the outpost, and we'll go out to the corner over here. We'll set a time. We're gonna change the time to. Um, noon. I think this is a drinking, a drinking post. So we're going to walk all the way across to the other side. Well, actually, let's let's give it a quick look around. Make sure there's nothing around before we set a time. A big one. We can sneak around. She's walking directly towards where the black that black tail is. He's a nice black tail though. I think we're gonna go for him. Let's get a better look at him first. He's a big black tail. We're gonna go for him. Alright. Okay, so let's take our shot. <laughs> He's dropped. Should I go for the Roosevelt? He's not huge. He's a little small. We're gonna leave him. Let's go pick up a black tail. Or a black tail. He's down over here.
nice rack he has on him. And there we go. We got our first gold 148 blacktail. Left lung shot and stomach. So we're going to have to be looking for a 177 or higher for a diamond potential. Outstanding buck. And we're going to set the time, I think. We're going to set the, we're going to set the time see if uh see if any white tails come out in the area. If you ever need a place to rest, there's a cabin in each outpost. I had them gutted and redone last season. So we're setting time 12.30. So 12.30 to 15.30, I believe, is drinking time for the white-tailed deer all around the map. So we're going to wait here and see if we have any white tails come out of the area. So we spotted our first diamond potential. Black tail. And the problem is how would we get there? How would we get there to shoot him? He's too far. And if I go around I would spook these an absolute monster. So I got a group of whitetail over here. It's a little group, but it's a group. We got a group of whitetail over here. And we got a group of or black tail over here. And then we got some more over here. So it's it's a little hard. It's a little hard to actually see, actually get around. It's very hard to get around on a hunt like this. So I, I think we're gonna walk around. There's a little buck back there too. Yeah, but he's this is our first diamond potential over here. So if we can get somewhere over here, spook. Whatever's over here, over there, I think. I think we can do it. So we're just gonna keep an eye on, on him. I would not want to spook him. The wind's blowing directly away from him, so I got a clear shot on him. It's it's perfect. So we're gonna we're gonna get closer to this tree over here, and we'll we'll finally take a shot. I think we're gonna, we're gonna have to take our shot. I can't let him leave. Oh, man, that's not a good shot. A little bit to the right. Hopefully he doesn't move. I can take him right there. I want to make this a good shot if we're going to do it. There we go. Okay. Sigur time. Sigur time. Let our heart, our heartbeat go down. And here we go. Dropped, absolute smoked. We've got our diamond potential black tail deer. Now let's see if he actually is a diamond. Drop him right away. Oh, just shy. A little bit. Came down to 169. Still an outstanding black tail buck. Absolute beauty. We'll be coming back to this spot to hunt some uh, nice black tail bucks, I guess. So, it was. It wasn't. It's a 
an outstanding hunt though. Thanks for watching episode 2 of this series. Make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below letting me know where, what place you would want me to go. Till next time.